Alright, welcome back to the Mechanical Owl channel. Well, we're going to go to Ikea and check out some new tiny greenhouses that i seen recently on the Ikea Facebook group. I just recently picked up a Mills bow and Rudsta cabinet, but I was interested in these Akbar uh, tiny greenhouses. So they come in a couple different sizes. These are 17 and 3 quarters, and they do make a larger size, 25 and a half inches uh, in length. But those are not currently out yet. This was just a display model. So I picked up two of these uh, smaller 17 and 3 quarter inch ones, and I think it's going to do fine, but we're going to actually tie them together to make a larger one. So let's open this up and uh, put it together. If you have put uh, other IKEA pieces together, then this is going to be no problem for you. The directions are fairly simple. You just have to look at the uh, uh, designs uh, real quick, take a glance, but it's going to pretty much go together pretty simply. Um, you don't really need anybody else to help you. It's pretty self-explanatory. It is plexiglass, so be careful when you're pulling off the protective film that you don't crack the glass and put too much pressure on it, but there's some small tabs uh, inside that you can move. Uh, in case it is a little tight, you can loosen it up to get the plastic off easy. All right, and once you get it pretty much set, there's a few of these little plastic plug anchors that go in a couple of the corners. They're really easy to put in. Um, they slipped out of my hands a few times. So put the, uh, the one piece in, kind of hold it. You might have to try to hold it from the other side as well. But uh, then the plug piece goes in and anchors in nicely. Now as you start getting the cabinet put together, you'll see that you know, you're know you gonna have some air gaps around, but we're gonna take care of that with some weather stripping. So I had some of this uh, inch and a, actually it's half inch by quarter inch weather stripping that I had from my Millsbow and Rudsta cabinet. So I'm just going to kind of find where some of those air gaps and light is showing through and just kind of adhere some of the weather stripping to it and kind of see what we come up with uh, to seal it in. So really you just want to keep going over and seeing where your light sources are. Uh, you don't have to get super crazy with it, I don't think. I, you know, any greenhouse is going to have some kind of ventilation um, that you want to keep it ventilated. I don't think I'm going to put fans in this one because it's uh, so small. Then we're going to remove the glass from the right side of the cabinet and then as I go ahead and build the second one we'll remove the left side and that will be the uh, connection points to put both of them together. So just pretty thin sheet metal so I think it's going to go together pretty simply. So go ahead and just uh, again take your plastic off and uh, secure it and we'll do this whole process again and uh, move on to putting them together. So the next step is to getting these two greenhouses put together. So I brought it to my shop and I made a base so they both sit on and I adhered the base with some Gorilla Glue. And again we took the glass out of both so now it's one complete greenhouse. We uh, put some sheet metal screws in and I used some black silicone around uh, more of the gaps and filled it with uh, black uh, pond foam and inserted some two inch pots. So this is part one. We're going to get into part two. We're actually getting into planting and adding moss and lights and all that other fun stuff. So thanks for checking in at the Mechanical Owl channel. We'll have more. See you soon.